Hi guys, we are going to take a look at the formatting of a friendly letter. Okay, so first and foremost, what you have to remember in a vriendskaplike brief or informele brief is that we use personal pronouns and informal language. So just like you would send a WhatsApp to your friend, that is, there's just more structure to a letter. Okay, so you start your letter on the right side hand side of your page and you're going to write down the address okay you i would suggest you memorize an address and use it for every single letter you write because then you don't forget most importantly in afrikaans the number the, the number of your house goes after your street name so for example wilgestraat 12 so the number is always at the end then you write Durbanville, wherever you come from, wherever you're watching this from, you write the place where you come from. And this must be small letters, guys. You don't write it in caps. It should be Durbanville. Then you have your postal code. So these three lines, just pick an address, make it up and use it for everything. Then you have the date that you're writing the letter on. Okay. And remember, there should be no punctuation marks anywhere in this section none whatsoever after you've started with your address on the right hand side of your page you're now going to skip a line and then you start in the immediate next line with besta whatever your friend's name is going to be besta anya you could say liver anya because it's a friend's couple of brief they don't mind what you use but it's probably just to write besta or liver just choose one and go with it then you leave another line and then you start with your introductory paragraph. And what should you have in this paragraph? You should be telling us why you're writing this letter. And it can be as informal as you want, but no English words, please. So what is Aza telling Anya? Aza is telling Anya or Elisa is telling Anya. Ja, hier skryf ek weer, maar dit keer met goeie nies. Ik heb vandaag gehoord dat ik definitief volgende jaar als AOP in Holland gaan werk. Dus so opwindend. So, why is she writing this letter? She said, look Anya, I'm writing again, but this time it's very good news. She heard today, or I heard today, that I'm definitely going to be working in the Netherlands as an AOP. And she's so excited. So now we know, okay, cool, the letter is going to be about Anya working as an au pair in Holland, maybe she in Netherlands. Maybe she'll be telling us, oh, this is what, what I've done. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. This is, you know, she's going to now tell us in the rest of the letter, she's going to add on to that. Then after we wrote our introductory paragraph, it shouldn't be more than three lines, guys. It's just an introduction to tell us what you're going to be saying in the next two paragraphs. Then in your second paragraph, this is where the bulk of your letter is going to sit. This is now where you are going to expand on your reasoning. So because we now told Anya, look Anya, I'm going to now work in Holland. Now I must tell Anya, for example, what I still have to do before I leave for Holland, where I'm going to work, which family I'm going to work for, what I'm going to do when I get there, where I'm going to live. That's what I'm now going to tell Anya. Now she's telling Anya, no, is that in on it? She's telling Anya, look, there's so many things I must still do. So now you'll tell Anya, okay, this is what I must do. That is what I must do. This is my family that I'm going to live with. And this is what I'm going to do when I get there. This is the most exciting thing. Or this is the thing I'm most excited for when I get to the Netherlands. That's, that's what's going to happen in the second paragraph. Then after you've now told her everything, you leave another line. And this is now your conclusion. And it's also very short, just like your introduction, one or two lines. This is where you say, for example, no, ja, ik ben jou dadelijk na die reise gaan gaan om my skryf asseblief gauw terug. So she's like, look, now I must go to the travel agent and book my flight. And then she asks Anya to please write back as soon as she can. That's usually what you say towards the end. Look, nice speaking to you. This is what I have to do now. And I can't wait to hear from you again. And then... You leave another line after you've written your two-liner conclusion. 
And then you end up with Yo Frienden or Beste. And then you write your name with no punctuation anywhere. So I would suggest you just end with Yo Friend of Frienden, whichever you prefer, and your name with no full stop, no nothing. Unless your name has like a copy or whatever, but no punctuation other than that. And you'll probably get full marks for your format. Don't use English words. Use a few like exclamation marks, as you can see Elisa is using here. You know, it's a very, it's, it's, it's an informal letter. Use personal pronouns, use I, you, we, us, those words, and you'll be fine. Remember, study the address, number of your house goes after your street name, and don't forget to leave the lines in between. And I'll see you in the next one.